Okay, now um, I try to um, link uh, the Mandela effect to the targeted individuals just to take you along another step just to realize that we're seeing one and the same thing but on a different scale. Okay, so basically we're going to discuss um, how perpetrators organize themselves and use a system to effectively effectively target individuals like us so I noticed this um, I think two or three years ago when they started targeting us on um, uh, social media so what they do they normally when they see the way you behave yeah on social media and if all targeted individuals are behaving like that then they can do us like our group so the way I was behaving in, in order to hide from those who are perpetrators I'll have multiple accounts on Facebook uh, and then basically if if they they troll me and they complain about one of my accounts for no reason just because they want to shut it down um, they can shut that down and I'll have another one open so they'll just come on my account and they just complain about it when I haven't done anything so I have multiple accounts so they don't know how to find me and then they resorted to <laughs> infiltrating Facebook and the way they infiltrated it's um, I don't know which secret organization they are um, I don't know if if they have a uh, a route or they might just be forming spontaneously but basically they started to suggest to the um, the the board of, of Facebook whoever the decision makers are they started to suggest that you, you should stop people from having multiple accounts yeah and on top of that uh, you should force people to review their details yeah so uh, they leaned on Facebook. They, they, the government leaned on them to force them um, to to capture more of people's personal data. Yeah, uh, and then as soon as that happened, as you can see right now, uh, another company came in and stole that. <laughs> yeah, so they will force companies to to leave us exposed on one hand, and on the other hand, they will come and steal our data. Yeah, so. They were using um, terrorism and things like that as a rouse or ruse or a cape, yeah. And uh, uh, they used this as a reason to lean on these companies to force them uh, to collect personal data from us so that they can come and steal it and use it to gang stalk us and victimize us, yeah. Which is what's going to happen now. Now they've got our personal details. Um, I used to have um, Facebook, account, Facebook accounts uh, in the name of Donald Duck, yeah, <laughs> Bugs Bunny, <laughs> right? So, so but then they forced us to 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 use our real names, and then they come and steal them. So this is a trend that's not really new. Those of us who are the older targeted individuals, uh, I can think of a time the country the country where I'm from, um, when I tried to invest. Uh, for example, if I try to invest in ISIS now, yeah, as soon as I aim to invest in that, you hear on the news they're starting conversations about um, are ISIS a good thing? <laughs> Do we need them? <laughs> and they'll start conversations in such a way where they'll leave it open for someone to walk into that organization, yeah, uh, or in this case, will be to walk into government and ask them to. Um, either remove the ISA or change the specifications so that we don't benefit from them as targeted individuals so they're using the government uh, as their own private army it's a, it's a foreign entity that that's infiltrated the government and this is why when I was studying when I was going to uni um, I grew up in a deprived area so most of the people who are there they were laughing at me they said why are you wasting your time I didn't know why yeah so uh, I went to uni and I stayed in there for like nine years. I didn't know why they were laughing at me. But I come out and everyone who's in higher positions was somebody who's not educated. Well, they're educated up to a point, but not university educated. That's because you don't... Uh, uni is not a guarantee that you're going to get a successful job. Yeah, Uni just gives you the acumen yeah, 
uh, just to be able to be agile and flexible and to go into anything you want yeah which is something very useful if you're to be a targeted individual you have to be able to do other things when they lock this down you start something else we'll lock this one start something else so when I come out all they have to do is infiltrate the government and ask them to change the law in certain ways to favor them so they don't really need to go uni you just need to know the right people yeah so they've infiltrated all areas yeah in society so what they resorted to doing I looked at it and I said okay um, I tried to, to start going into um, ISIS and they started those communications, those conversations. They start it publicly uh, and then they make people believe that the rest of the public is behind that. Then they go and suggest policy changes which will target you. Yeah? So that's how they're targeting us with the system. So they've decided they decided to put the interest rate in my country at zero and it remained there. Yeah, and obviously. I was thinking about economics and I said look if you keep that at zero the economies will crash not only your economy the global economy will crash but the need to <laughs> to keep people like me down was so heavy that they didn't want us to benefit from anything that's out there yeah so they kept the interest rate rate slow yeah the economy crashed <coughs> it kept crashing again and so then now um, somebody is starting to suggest that they raise it yeah you see what I mean? So it's been like that for a good 10 years, 10, it might even be 15 years, 10 years I think it is. Yeah. So um, target individuals, bear in mind that um, we're going to be targeted um, with whatever, with whatever, whatever companies we try to use or organizations we try to use. Yeah, they're going to infiltrate them. They won't do it in a blatant way. They'll just suggest things which are aimed at targeting you. That's what happened at, at, at YouTube. They suggest things which are aimed at targeting at that type of person so that they know they got you. Yeah? So they'll start saying if you get less than 10,000 views a year, you can't be part of the program. But that will only catch some of us. <laughs> then they said, okay, if you get less than 10,000 and less than, I don't know, was it 500 subscribers? Something like that. I can't remember how many it was. Or 1,000 subscribers. Uh, so if you got less than a thousand subscribers less than 10,000 views sure enough that fits the profile of what most targeted individuals are when they're on YouTube you're gonna find that every targeted individual falls into that bracket so that was something that was aimed at targeting targeting us as well people like us people who are online we're not there for money so we're not really pushing it that way uh, and uh, we get lots of views or we get lots of subscribers of never both yeah, so the target that that fits what a targeted individual is because on the other hand, they'll be there also behind the scenes, trying to make sure that your channel is not exposed enough for you to get the subscribers or something like that, and of also the topic we're talking about is not gonna be gener either generates one or the other. So by targeting both components, that's the targeted individual that you're aiming at. So and uh, you see it in everything you try to do, yeah anything you try to do they, they are vindictive like that they'll, I, they'll bring us something and they'll say this is for everyone yeah for everyone but as soon as you try to use it they'll actually destroy their own thing to, just to spite you to make sure you don't you don't use it so just um, this is nothing you can really do nothing about you, you this is something you can't do nothing about because you can't tell people oh I've seen that you've got a new guy coming into your organization he's he's gonna suggest things to target certain customers of yours yeah you can't tell people that because they won't believe you they'll think you're nuts so you just have to let it play out but just bear in mind that when you see those signs um, they're gonna start closing down your uh, social network accounts um, and you need to keep up with how this what this company's updates are if you're on Twitter you have to look at all the new policies that Twitter is, is, is looking at implementing yeah and you could see yeah that there, there will be people who are suggesting things to target you okay they was targeting terrorists yeah and they even encourage terrorists to behave like that so that they can uh, target us when they're targeting them yeah but they 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 now make a distinction between terrorists and targeted individuals but they're gonna come after targeted individuals on all platform yeah because we reveal the truth yeah and they spy they don't want us to make it they think they own the money but when you look at the history of money it didn't even originate in Europe yeah I mean the first coinage was made in Greece yeah but 
the, the concept of money was not even Europe's, but they consider it as something that they own. Yeah, but it's never been like that. That's never been the case any time in history. Yeah, where one country or, or Europe itself owning money. There's always been people in the East or people in the South. There's always people in the South East or North who've had money. Yeah, so it's not just been the West, but there are some people in the West, I don't know about the East, that consider them, they consider money to be their own property and they, when you try to make money from it, from anything, they'll go into that company and uh, suggest things just to target you. Because um, I used to think that it works either way. I said, right, it could work um, whether you raise the interest rate really high or raise it really low. But now, I think we've learned that there's a threshold. If you keep it at zero, yeah, it's not it's not gonna it doesn't work both ways there's a a limit so you can keep it extremely low or sorry slightly low or slightly high but there's got to be a limit but when you spite people and, and and the only reason why you're suggesting something is to spite a certain type of people you that that's what comes around you ruin your entire economies just to spite us yeah so target individuals stay strong so events like this will be happening if we just keep fighting yeah, just keep fighting, finding new avenues. When you see that they're targeting that, you start looking for new channels, and and just keep going like that, you know. But otherwise, um, we're living in that kind of world where competitions like that. But uh, we are exposing things, and there's people who actually believe uh, in the official uh, way things are, and they will make, you know, they'll make. Um, requests to friends and family to assist them in targeting people like us and then um, <clears throat> the people that do see the system and run the system that also have their own private private life away from the system because they know it's fake everyone knows it's fake but there is some in there who that's all they do with their life is the official thing they never switch off they're always on point. They're always trying to see to make sure that there's no social faux pas. They're trying to make sure that everybody's with who they want them to be. There's people who are like that 24-7. Yeah, man, how could you not go crazy when you're like that? And then there's people who switch off and they say, we're well, like that, but then we're going to creep and have our, own, uh, have our own private story, which is real, you know, because that day is fake. Everybody knows it's fake. Yeah, but there's a few who don't. So... Uh, they will form secret organizations to try and push for the fake system yeah and that's why you find them they will always ask the government for assistance to get into an organization and once they're in there yeah they could always lean on someone to get someone in once they're in there all he or she is gonna be doing is suggesting making suggestions which appear on paper to be a good idea yeah because everything is ambiguous when it comes to finance things can work whether your your um, whether you've devalued your currency or you, you're, you're highly valuing it. So people can work with um, 300 of their currency units to $1 or 0.5 of their currency unit to $1. It works either way, but there is a limit. So these people will take advantage of the ambiguous nature of um, economics. Yeah, but there is limits. If, you don't, if you're in a company and you don't watch these people, yeah, um, um, and you, you should be able to tell when they're exploiting the... Um, you know uh, the ambiguous nature of poly of um, uh, uh, economics, but you have to make sure that they you know what limits are because they'll take you beyond the limits to target someone like me with my intelligence. They will take you beyond the limit where they will break your they will break your entire organization. And then when they've done what they set out to do, they will jump out of that. There's people you already see employment. Yeah, if you're a clever boss, because in the end I had to start my own company. There's people you see in employment who have always come from companies that have failed. Yeah, when you look at their history, uh, they've worked at 10 different companies and each of them failed after they, they left. Each of them has failed after they've left. Then th that, that gives you a clue. Yeah, if somebody comes to work for my um, company, that gives you a clue. Yeah, yeah you look at their CV and you say, okay every company you've worked for has since folded you must be somebody who's going in there suggesting things just to target people yeah and then when the company fails you jump out and go somewhere else and you you don't care about breaking the company you just want to target certain individuals yeah so as company owners we've got to be aware of this i advise all company owners to be aware of that 
yeah so that's all i just wanted to point out that uh, we are being victimized and it's very very clear and it's easy to see how it's being done yeah but uh, the solution is just to keep ahead of things keep 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 um ahead of the game yeah and uh, if they if you see them close taking steps to close down one avenue you open up another one and that's how we're supposed to survive we're supposed to hide really yeah but we know that we're the good